In this video, I would like to expand on the topic that we've been studying this week, and that is budgeting. And I want to focus on one often overlooked aspect of budgeting. And I've, I've read uh, many of your posts about your idea of budgeting and spending habits and uh, different things that you do to uh, save money. Now, an often overlooked aspect of budgeting is rather than how can I save money and how much money do I save? Let's rather look at how can I avoid spending money that I've already made? And maybe you've heard of the uh, old cliche, a penny saved is a penny earned. Well, that's mathematically accurate. If you can avoid paying a dollar for something, that's equivalent to you making an extra dollar. So I wanna focus here on, I'm gonna look at one specific uh, product and that's diapers and I'm just using diapers because I have two small kids and I I've bought many many diapers in the past now you could you could change this to anything you want paper towels coffee wh whatever it is um, now there's two types of things that we purchase the things we purchase once in a while and don't always have on hand and then there's the things that as soon as we run out we buy more for example diapers this is not something you would buy once in a while. This is something that you, if you have a small child at home, some of you um, do or have siblings or nieces or nephews or, or children that you look after, you must have diapers on hand. There's no question. So regardless of how many you buy at any given time, when they run out or hopefully before they run out, you buy more. So I want to talk about and this is this is something that uh, is well this is the main focus of our project as well um, how does the cost per item affect your bottom line and we're going to look at buying the small packages buying the large pack packages and seeing how that translates over the course of a year so i've just done a quick google search or i guess uh, this is a bing search uh, but either way average number of diapers used per year and uh, 3,650 to 4,380, quite a lot. So maybe a dozen or, or more diapers a day. So I'm just gonna use 4,000 diapers. This is a nice number right in the middle of that range. So in this Excel sheet, I'm gonna look at the cost to buy one year of diapers. Now, you're, if, you know, if you have a child, you will be using diapers for more than one year. So this is just one year. Okay, so I've, I've looked at five stores, CVS, Stop and Shop, Target, Walmart, and Costco. And I just went to their website and looked up uh, the cost for individual um, uh, in, individual diapers. And I'm using Huggies Little Movers. Just I, I found the, the same product at each of the five stores. So if we look at CVS... It's $12.79 for a package of 19. So I'm gonna go over to the Excel sheet and for a package of 19, and according to the website, 12.79, 12.79. Okay, so that's, that's the price for 19 diapers. We wanna know what is the price for one diaper. Now let's do this for some other store. Let's get the information for some other stores first. I went to Stop and Shop, which is a local grocery store uh, in, in the Boston area. It's $10.99 for a package of 16. Okay, so let's say 16 diapers costs $10.99. Now let's go over to the Target website. A package of 19 costs $8.29. 19 diapers, $8.29. And I'm ignoring sales tax uh, here. Let's go to Walmart. And I found for 124 diapers, it's $47.41. $47.41. And finally, let's look at Costco. And at Costco, for 192 diapers is $39.99. Now, a couple of you mentioned using spreadsheets in your responses to our budgeting discussion. And I think using spreadsheets is a very, uh, very easy, but also a very effective way 
to both track your spending and analyze your spending. All right, so now look, let's look at the cost for one diaper because that's what really matters. You're gonna be using diapers as needed, not according to how many are in the package. So to find the cost per one item, we can divide the cost by how many you're buying. So if it's 12.79 for 19 of them, how many how much is it for one diaper? So uh, I'm not going to type in 12.79 divided by 19. I'm going to type in and this is what makes Excel nice. Uh, I'm going to type in equals well just this number to the left divided by this next number to the left. And don't worry if you if you're not savvy with Excel. This is something I could talk about more in detail. Okay, so if you're buying the package of 19 at CVS for $12.79, you're spending about 63 cents per diaper. Now, what we could do is, since these are all dollar amounts, I'm gonna highlight this area of the spreadsheet. And in this little drop-down menu, I'm just gonna change it to currency. Where's currency? Ah, there we go. All right, so then now it's in, in dollar form. And another nice thing about Excel is if you do something once, if you do a calculation once, you could drag it down and Excel will repeat the process for you. So you see a large discrepancy here. Buying the small package at CVS is more than three times the amounts per diaper as buying the, the really, really large box at Costco. Okay, so now let's extend this from one diaper change to a year's worth of diaper changes. Now again, I'm using 4,000 as my number of diaper changes per year. So let's say the yearly cost should equal, oh, this number to the left times 4,000. Oh, okay, so $2,692.63. If we're buying always our diapers at CVS, now let's see what happens when I copy this calculation down. Wow, you see a, a huge difference there between the, the, well, the most expensive option looks like the box at Stop and Shop, over $2,700 a year, whereas Costco, $833 a year. And so that's a savings. If we take the largest number and we subtract from it the smallest number, that's almost $2,000 a year. I mean, that's a pretty hefty college fund you could start or an extremely nice vacation you could take or a down payment on a car just by making one change. If you are, you know, and it, I don't wanna, my goal here is not to say what's right and what's wrong because sometimes it's convenient. Maybe there's a CVS right next to your house or you know what, there's other factors other than cost although cost is the most important factor. But by making a change, let's say you always buy your diapers when you're shopping at the grocery store and you're paying 27, over $2,700 a year, that's per year, not, not per child you know, for their lifetime, but per year. So if you're buying diapers for three years, that's a savings of almost $6,000. So what's important here is that when you're buying something that is always replaced when you run out, this cost, this price, this doesn't matter. What really matters is what are you paying for each diaper, for each paper towel, for each cup of coffee at Starbucks, regardless of what it is, you could, you could, you could swap out diapers with whatever it is you want to you want to analyze but if you go through the things you buy in a, you know regularly and you analyze each one of those and then just determine can i change the way i buy things not not can i stop buying this thing but can i change the way i'm buying this thing there's the potential to save a lot of money and when you start extending those savings those potential savings over the course of an entire year you see very significant differences. And again, I'm looking at, in this example, Stop and Shop being the most expensive cost per diaper and Costco being the cheapest cost for the exact same thing. It's not like you're changing brands or, or 
going from a name brand to a store brand. I use the exact same brand and not just the same brand, the, the exact same type of Huggies. Huggies, oh, I forget what it was. Uh, little Movers, Huggies Little Movers. So this is one way to be a smart consumer. So by, uh, by avoiding having to pay $1,914 a year just on diapers, that's the same as making an extra $1,914 in that year. Now, if you want to extend this, you know, in the same vein, you know, dealing with children, what is it cost per baby wipe? cost per ounce of uh, lotion, cost per, um, if you use formula, ounce, ounce of formula, you know, cost per ounce of baby food. You could extend this to all the things you have to buy regularly, cost per ounce of baby wash or baby shampoo, whatever it is. You could go item by item and think about what is the cost per item. That is, that is the only thing that's important when it is something that you are buying always and regularly and when you run out you always buy it again so this argument doesn't you know this this doesn't really apply to things that you know if, if you treat yourself once in a while to something it's that's this, this is not an argument for that but if you're buying something as needed as you replace as you run out there's the potential for saving a lot of money. So I just, and that's it for this video. The, the, the main point here was not diapers and saving money on diapers. It was, it's just, an, it's just as important to avoid spending dollars as it is to put away or save dollars. Mathematically, those two things are equivalent. All right, uh, I hope this was helpful and illuminating.